Between 1903 and 1905, near the silver mines in Cobalt, Ontario, a very large yellow-colored diamond, roughly the size of a hen's egg, was found. By 1906, several news publications ran the story and named the stone the Nipissing Diamond. It was estimated the raw, uncut gemstone was between seven and 800 carats in size, which at the time made it one of the largest diamonds ever discovered. The diamond was sent to New York to be cut by Tiffany & Co. And shortly thereafter, Tiffany sent an exploration team to an area west of Lake Temiskaming to hunt for the expected source rock of the Nipissing Diamond, Kimberlite. However, due to limited resources and technology in the early 1900s, the trail went cold and no other diamonds were found. The search for the Nipissing Diamond was most recently resumed in 2014 when Tony Bishop decided to test a hypothesis that certain unusual circular-shaped lakes near Cobalt could represent the tops of Kimberlite pipes. With the help of his family, the bishops conducted five years of extensive research and detailed prospecting, finding diamond indicator minerals in a down-ice glaciation pattern from his hypothesized Kimberlite targets. To understand the significance of these discoveries, take a look at Canada's first diamond rush in the Northwest Territories in 1992, which actually began eight years prior with prospecting work similar to the Bishop families. Diamond explorers used glaciation patterns to track diamond indicator minerals in reverse until they discovered the source kimberlite pipes, now known as the Akati and Diavik diamond mines. The results of the Bishop family's work from 2014 to 2019 led them to identify 18 kimberlite targets for drilling, as well as additional potential targets staked for continued exploration. On February 5th, 2019, RJK Exploration signed a deal with Tony Bishop for the rights to the Bishop family's exploration claims. None of the identified kimberlite targets have been drilled before, and all are located near the very same land where it's theorized the Nipissing Diamond was found. Most diamond exploration zones in Canada are very remote, but our Bishop claims have power lines and existing timber roads throughout the property. Our land is situated in an underexplored area near one of the richest mining camps in the history of Canada. In addition, there are already dozens of discovered kimberlite pipes, some diaminiferous, north of the Bishop Claim boundaries, but no company has yet to discover the source rock of the Nipissing Diamond. At RJK Explorations, we are actively working with the Bishop family to write our own conclusion to the story of the 800 carat yellow Nipissing Diamond in the hopes of replicating the success of previous great diamond explorers in Canada.